The Cabinet Committee on Security has approved defense deals worth rupees 35,000 crore, including the consolidated order for 220 extended range Brahmos missiles with a strike range of 450 kilometers. The largest ever contract for the Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles yet. An important thing to note here is that the aim is to arm frontline warships of the Navy. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed, we request you to like, share and subscribe this channel. The Brahmos missiles, which are jointly manufactured with Russia in Bharat, fly almost three times the speed of sound at close to Mark 2.8, becoming the prime conventional non-nuclear precision strike weapon for the armed forces. With contracts worth over 38,000 crores already inked over the years, the new Rs. 19,500 crore contract which is the first consolidated order for the extended range Brombos missiles will add to this. Till now, upgrades of the existing 290 km range missiles were being done when the warships came in for refits or maintenance. The 800 km variant of Brombos is also under development. This extended range enables the Brombos to strike targets deeper inland and provides the Indian armed forces with enhanced standoff capabilities against adversarial threats. The new missiles will be delivered over the next 5-6 to six years. Almost 15 frontline warships are already armed with Brahmos missiles which includes the latest destroyers like INS Vishakhapatnam, INS Marmugao and INS Imphal. That's not all. You will be delighted to learn that all new destroyers and frigates will also have the Brahmos missiles. They include the seven 6,670-ton stealth frigates being constructed under Project 17A at an overall cost of Rs. 45,000 crore. These are slated for delivery in the 2024-2026 time frame. After getting the first lot of 40 jets modified by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to carry the missiles, the Indian Air Force 2 is looking to arm another 20 to 25 Sukhoi 30 MKI fighters with Brahmos. Sukhois armed with Brahmos missiles can carry out long-range strikes against high-value targets like warships on the high seas or enemy positions, bunkers, command and control centers and the like on land. A similar air-launched Brahmos NG will also be developed so that lightweight fighters can carry it. When we talk of Brahmos, how can the army lag behind? The army in turn also plans to induct more Brahmos regiments to add to its existing force. Some of its Brahmos batteries are currently deployed in Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh due to the continuing almost four year old military confrontation with China. The development of the Brahmos missile system encompasses various key components including the design and integration of advanced propulsion systems, guidance and navigation systems, and warhead technology. These technologies enable the missile to achieve its extended range while maintaining its supersonic speed and precision strike capabilities. Further, the missile system incorporates advanced features such as trajectory optimization, autonomous navigation, and terminal guidance algorithms enhancing its effectiveness in engaging a wide range of targets with high precision. In terms of strategic significance, the Brahmos missile project strengthens Bharat's deterrence posture and reinforces its ability to better encounter potential threats across the region. With its extended range and unmatched speed, the Brahmos provides the Indian armed forces with a potent tool for strategic deterrence, precision strike and anti-access area denial operations. As Bharat continues to invest in its defense capabilities, the Brahmos missile stands as a symbol of the country's commitment to technological innovation, strategic deterrence and defense self-reliance. Jai Hind!